How the hell is humans and welcome to the Kyler, which is in the shop now for a, well, unreasonable price of 12,500 gold. Now, is it as ra radioactively contaminated as the wild pigs here? Well, let's find out. The price definitely does suggest as much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's have a look here. What we have, obviously, main comparison is the E75 TS. You have a bit more alpha damage, but less DPM. Penetration is very similar, higher than E75TS, somewhat lower than the Lerva though, so Lerva has the better gun here. Also in terms of accuracy, obviously E75TS, Lerva do win against the Kyler, so you, here we have less DPM, higher penetration, higher alpha damage, but worse weapon handling. It is slightly faster than the E75TS and the Lerva, which aren't really that fast, so you essentially have mobility on level of a Tiger, <laughs> on hard terrain that is, on soft terrain it very much goes along with the others. And then, let's have a look at the armor as well. Here we go. Lower plate, weak spot, like a any tank. Upper plate, pretty much impenetrable. Tier 9 tank is sure going to go straight through. Also, tier 9 medium tanks with heat. Some's going to go through. In a tier 7 game, your upper plate is completely impenetrable. Turret has weaknesses on the side here, if you hit the right spot. Um, also, down this plate below the gun, which is also a very nice plate to hit. Now, you have this thing up here. However, that I don't think that counts as actual armor. Um... So, you have the Coppola, 8 degrees of gun depression, which is perfectly fine, and you can hide the Coppola. You also got the screens, which means no one's going to HE you in the side, and the rear is also pretty much HE proof, which is very nice. Rounded turret, which is nice for bouncing stuff off the side. So, solid vehicle, bad price. So, here we go with the E75 TS, and it is very much a missionary position of heavy tanks, as in you're doing the same every time and it's getting boring. Which means there is also no reason to ever purchase this vehicle if it were at a reasonable price. Now, you have a Delerve offer going on right now, it's a pop up offer. You can get that if it's still valid. Um, that's a better offer, obviously, because you get a tank that is, well, marginally worse with better credit coefficient for a massively, massively better price. Now, there is obviously no reason to pay 12500 for a vehicle that is essentially the same as an E75 TS. Obviously, there are marginal differences. It is like half a percent better, but why would you pay double that for no reason at all? And also, why would you go city on pretty much any map, especially if the city is on a side like on this one? Because map control in this game is very important, and if you don't want the map control, you don't want to win. So, let's have a look. Should be pretty easy now. You can shoot through this, by the way. It's very difficult, though. Um, things like that exist in a lot of maps, also in Himmelsdorf, stuff like that. I should make a video about that, actually. Um, about the radiest angles of Blitz. There we go. Now, all I'm going to have to do here is not get shot. You have very strong turret armor in this vehicle. As you can see, the Coppola is very m well hidden. So you can... Uh, if you move this thing back and forth well enough... It can be pretty much impenetrable if you're in a hold-down position. 8 degrees of gun depression isn't the best, but it is definitely doable. And you're not gonna win if you play like that IS-3 Defender either. You want to be smart and uh, intelligent in your decision-making rather than YOLOing in and throwing away your vehicle for absolutely nothing. Which is what this individual did. But hey, if he enjoys it. Now, enemy Kyler. Gonna have a sh shot at him. Now, just very standard... Boring gameplay, sitting in a spot, waiting for the gun to reload, and having a shot. And that is how this vehicle works. Nothing special about it, obviously. 12.5k is absolutely not worth it. It's like 7.5k, 8k if it's in shop for that. It can be a solid price. However, obviously, given that Wargaming really loves screwing over the customers with, well, marketing schemes that may be dubious at best, then... You know, it may be a great idea to wait for this. And first of all, obviously, never buy the crates and also never buy a vehicle like this when it comes out the second time because they are always going to be overpriced. And no, the tank being new does not add any value at all. So, let's get rid of this T69 as well. Nice. Obviously, what we're going to do here on this map, you want to have map control again, which means you want to have that side and also ideally this middle road as well. And, um, what was the Panther doing? But anyway, let's see what we can achieve in this game. There is a lot of medium tanks going on, and uh, you don't want to do that ever. Come on, Panther, you're, you're better than that. Come on, you're better than that, little Panther. So, here we go. I will be very happy when the kids are back in school. Now, 
Let's see if we can shoot this guy. Now, the action in this thing is fine-ish. It's not terrible. It's not great. It does work. It's magic. Sometimes. Sometimes not. And, uh... Normally, if you fire, you should pull back. And normally, if you know that there's five enemies in front of you, you also retreat. But, you know, basics like that can be... Yeah, he, he, did, he did find them. He did find them. Indeed. So, obviously, all of them are over there. The Panthers cleared out the side there. Spotting by incompetence is also relatively useful in some cases. So, let's have a look at the FV-301. No, he's going to go inside. And there is a Tiger P right there. Okay. Traverse speed could be a bit faster, but then again, it's a very fat, heavy tank. And now, it's gonna go back off. And we keep fighting this pan this Tiger. And maybe the Panther's gonna actually help see what he's gonna do. Um, let's angle it back and forth. Obviously, lower plate can be pinned very easily. That is not magic for the Tiger P to pin. So ideally, I wanna put him on the track and have that panther maybe do something useful with his life, but he doesn't choose to do so. Alright, now, he's gonna have to get close, face hug him, obviously, so that he can't pen me, and that would be very nice. Now, I might even be able to shoot him here, just like that, and get rid of him. Okay, now, that is a T-71 that's over there, obviously the ISU is still back there, which means if I peek up here, I am in the risk of getting shot, however, I want to get out of this situation as fast as possible. And there he is, hello. He's gonna move, 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 yes he is, and there we go, put him low, and that is how it's supposed to be. Now the biggest problem here is gonna be that FV-301. The GSO can't pen anything, it's got hash, however, side of a little is definitely gonna go through. And now, this FV right here, I'm gonna want to take out him, obviously. Because he is gonna be very much annoying. Now, he also isn't in a great situation right now. Which means he's gonna be very easy to kill, and if the panther jumps on him, we got him very easily. And that's another 3k. That's not too bad. Pre-aim. Oh, just stopped. And that now means that it is basically in the bag here. That t 71 is gonna wrap around the back, and I'm gonna try and help out the Louvre against the g -Sor. Is he gonna peek? Let's see. Ah, he's smart. Okay, that's good. That's good for him. It's very nice. I hope you are doing that too. You know, if someone knows where you are, maybe they like, don't peek there. And uh, yeah, if if you can guess where you're gonna be, the enemy will too. Now the GSO is gonna go push the Lerve, but that does not matter to me. We're just gonna get rid of him. And beautiful. Standard, boring. Heavy tank gameplay with this vehicle. It is good. However, the price absolutely does not justify that at all. So, 7.5k, 8k gold. Solid, sure, why not? 12.5k. Get the fuck out of here. So, for that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.